I'm very excited by these desserts. This is a vanilla creme brulee with fresh berries and a shortbread cookie, and that's a very rich chocolate cake. Well, you know, when you're tasting a group of beers, you usually go light to dark, so I'd like to start with the lighter one. I'm thinking just a little bit of the fruit mixed in with the creme brulee might be the perfect complement with the Hefeweizen. I agree. I think that, you know, this is probably the more unusual one to that, that people in general would think about that pairing with beer, but I would say that you're spot on with the fruitiness. It's nice and nice and creamy vanilla sort of uh, uh, rounds out the, the fruitiness, kind of combines with the banana of the, uh, of the Hefeweizen. It's a really great combination. One of the combinations that, that people don't think of, but is, is actually, to my money, the best uh, uh, pairing with a dessert and a beer is a dark beer like the Schwartz beer with a chocolate cake and vanilla ice cream. The, uh, the dark chocolate coffee character really uh, complements the, uh, the chocolate character of the chocolate cake and it can be really sort of cleansing in a, in a, in a, in a way like uh, uh, drinking coffee with ice cream or any dessert is uh, a, a wonderful combination. That is a great pairing. And I would also imagine that if we were thinking about other sort of darker, richer flavors like caramels, oh, an, another great pairing with, with our dark beers, with, no, our, with uh, our Schwartz beer. And even, you know, the, I was just, when you, as you were saying that, I'm looking at the Merits and thinking that caramelized, uh, uh, you know, vanilla character in the creme brulee, a, a wonderful combination. Uh, certainly, you know, some of the bigger beers we make seasonally, like the Maybach and, and definitely the Winterbach, is, uh, is almost a dessert in and of itself. Well, those would be great choices as well. So you've seen us go through three courses of food, uh, all kinds of different flavors, both in the food and in the beer as we're doing our pairings. And we're talking about how those two, beer and food, can complement each other. They can balance each other. The flavors in both, can, there can be a contrast. Uh, one can emphasize or enhance the other. And finally, the incredible quality of beer, which makes it so perfect to go with food, is that it has a kind of a cleansing effect on your palate, makes you, makes you wanting more. And that, and that really is, at, at, at the most basic level, what makes food and beer great together, right? So the beer styles that relate to the flavors in the food, and then what is it that you're trying to achieve in that pairing? Absolutely. Well, thanks for joining me, Stan, and thanks for bringing out all this awesome food. I've got the best job in the universe. Well, I really appreciate being here with you, and uh, the last thing I would say is the rest of that chocolate cake is mine. Fine. I'm going for the crib Okay. Okay. <laughs>